We're on. Right. Um, so question eight is the, the differentiation question. And it starts in part A with... Um, I, remember this. I, we know this now, don't we? But remember in a question, if it's part A and B, then they're in the same basic topic area, but there's no link between them. If it's parts one and two, then the, the idea is they follow on. They're, they're connected more than just being about the same area. <coughs> so... Um, Find the gradient of this curve. So we need to differentiate it to find the gradient. We, we understand that. So we're going to differentiate x squared plus xy plus y squared is 3 term by term. So, so uh, differentiate x squared with respect to x. And we get 2x. That. xy. Well, this is the product rule. So this is the first times the derivative of the second. Do have any x? plus the second y times the derivative of the first, which would be 1. And then we've got, we've just talked about this, this common thing of differentiating y squared with respect to x, and we know that that gives us, well, the derivative of y squared with respect to y, which is 2y times dy by dx, equals 3. Now, at this point, we've got a choice. Notice the question didn't say, find dy by dx. So, so what we could do, oh, that would be zero, yeah, thank you. Um, the question didn't say find dy by dx, so we don't have to do that. We could just sub in the value minus one, minus one, and get what the value of dy by dx is from there. Just for completeness, I feel that I want to find dy by dx anyway, but if we factorise the left-hand side, we've got x plus 2y, lots of dy by dx, and if we take the terms that don't involve dy by dx to the other side, we've got 2x and y, so minus 2x minus y. So dy by dx is minus 2x minus y over x is 2y. The question wanted us to know what was happening at the point minus 1 minus 1, I think. So at the point minus 1 minus 1, dy by dx is, what's that going to be? Um, plus 2, plus another 1, over minus 1 minus 2. I think that's coming out as being minus 1. Shh. Um, that's, that's a pretty good four marks for doing that, isn't it? Part B. Go straight into some parametric equations. X is 2t squared minus 1. Y is t cubed plus t. Uh, and the question wants us to... Part 1 wants us to find the coordinates of the point on C at which the tangent is parallel to the y-axis. So we think about what this means, tangent parallel to the y-axis. That tells us that we're looking for when dx by dy is equal to zero. dy by dx would be a horizontal one, dx by dy is the, the parallel to the y-axis one. Um, well, let's, let's go through what we normally do with this and see where it takes us to. Uh, we start by finding dx by dt. What would dx by dt be? 40. 40. No. Do y by dt? 2t <coughs> plus 1. 3t plus 1. 3t squared. squared plus 1, okay. Um, I, I don't know, we could find. Well, we used to find the dy by dx. We know that to find dy by dx. We divide dy by dt by dx by dt. So that's 3t squared plus 1 over 4t. However, at this point, we're not asked for that. We're interested in dx by dt, which is the reciprocal of dy by dx. dx sorry, dx by dy. 
which is the reciprocal of dy by dx. So that's 4t over 3t squared plus 1. Now the point at which that's equal to 0 is quite easy, isn't it? 4t is 0. So t is equal to 0. Um, what did the question actually want? It wanted the coordinates of the point on C at which the tangent was parallel to the y-axis. So actually, having found that t is 0, that's not enough. We need to go back and say if t is 0, x equals 2 times 0 minus 1, and y is 0 cubed plus 0. So the point that we end up with is the point minus 1, 0. That's quite nice. Part 2. Um, find the values of t. Find the values of t for which x and y have the same rate of change with respect to t. Well, it looks like a strange bit of a question. But actually, you know, rather than panic about this, this is, this is actually a very simple thing it's asking us, isn't it? This is really just saying, find the value of t, or values of t, when dx by dt and dy by dt are equal to each other. That's, that's all it wants us to do. So we want to know when is dx by dt equal to dy by dt. And we found them earlier. Dx by dt was, is that 4t? And dy by dt was 3t squared plus 1. So this is all about recognising that we're just actually dealing with quite a simple quadratic equation. And it's really kind, this, this, I mean, this paper especially, they, every time you get a quadratic you seem to factorise on this. Um, and factorise really easily as well, you know, two prime numbers start and end, so that's nice. So t is a third, t is one, they would be the values of t for which the rate of change is the same. What does that mean in the graph? Um, does that mean Anything special no. on a graph, does it? So uh, you could uh, you could draw it on your calculator. Excellent. Right. There we go. Oh, uh, and that's maths.